Welcome everybody, this is Microsoft 365 feature demo show or whatever we call the show, it doesn't really matter, uh, but we go through the individual features in Microsoft 365, SharePoint, Viva Connection, a lot of other stuff as well, every now and then depends on the guest. Uh, and today uh, we're going to talk about something really cool on Viva Connection, so there's things which will be also visible on SharePoint and improving the user experience. Now, my name is Vesa Yuvonen, um, I will be your host today, but the real star of today uh, is Katrin. Katrin, can you do a quick intro, who you are and what do you do for a living? Sure. Thank you, Vesa, for having me today. Um, I am Catherine Chuaga. I am a product manager uh, in the Viva Connections team. Uh, and today I am excited to demo a feature that we've been working on on the past uh, few months. Uh, it's the connections on the SharePoint app. And um, in terms of how long I've been with Microsoft, I've been with the team for about four years. Excited to work on this amazing product for customers. Yeah, and this is a really great feature. It's it's kind of introducing the Viva connection more closely available in SharePoint, right? That's the really the objective. That's correct. So this feature kind of brings in the interconnectedness and brings out the story that SharePoint and Viva connections are extending each other or an extension yeah. of one another. Thinking of the SharePoint internet as the company app, as the top of the internet, as well as Viva Connection as the company app that is focused to the employee. So bringing that experience to SharePoint really allows the user or the employee to really navigate from the internet to the company app, their personal app really easily. Yeah. Absolutely. I think the, the easiest way to understand what it is, uh, let's actually jump on the live demo and have a look on what does it mean in practice. Uh, so this is, Katrin, your demo environment. So, uh, walk us through what does this mean? Absolutely. So as you had, I say, it's called Viva Connections on the SharePoint app. It's pretty much obvious as what the name says. So we've added an additional navigational node on the uh, SharePoint app, which is the left pane of any SharePoint site. The SharePoint app is available on any site on the internet. So you can really access that node from uh, that point. Uh, when you hover over, over it, you'll see connections, which is which has the Viva Connections icon. And when you click on that, it brings you the different components of the Viva Connections, the dashboard, the news, and the resources. Uh, a step further on clicking on the dashboard, this will navigate you to the Viva Connections on the web experience where now you get to land on the dashboard. So it opens a separate tab. Uh, going back to... Um, the connections on upper. If I want to look at the news, which is something that I'm really interested in, when click, clicking on or on clicking the news tab itself, it will land me to the Viva Connections uh, feed uh, feed tab, or which will soon be news tab. Um, yes. And you can easily access then the company news from one centralized location. Now, in this particular demo environment, the news feature is not yet enabled, uh, but that's going to be yes. replacing uh, on that one. Uh, so that's that's kind of a rolling out as we are recording this. So in some environments have it, some environments are still having the feed. Uh, and then, of course, we have the resources tab there as well, which is actually bringing you to the resources section uh, in the Vivo connection. That's correct. So, that's correct. Yes. That's very correct, Vesa. So something else that I wanted to add here is that a lot of customers will ask, so what if I don't have my dashboard set up? What will show up here? So we've uh, yes. this feature will only roll out to customers who have published and configured a dashboard. We understand some customers have not set that up, so we'll not enable this. And this is more of a limited experience to make sure like we are bringing um, content that is relevant to the end user. So one, one of the criteria that we rolled out was that does the customer have a dashboard that is published and configured and is made available yeah. to the end users? That means it has some meaningful cards and the company has given a thumbs up to it. So if you don't see it on your tenant, that could be the reason. It's a, it's you know one way for you to go and configure the dashboard. Make sure you have some cards there and this will be accessible to your users on the SharePoint app. Bar. Makes perfect sense. And by the way, Viva Connection is a free, free, free feature, feature, uh, free product. So everybody should be configuring the Viva Connection and the dashboard to their tenant because why not? It, it provides additional value for everybody in the tenant. Exactly. So things like the paste card, uh, you can have quick access to uh, 
tickets, uh, you know, support tickets, uh, celebrate a colleague like praise. So there's so many things that you can uh, you can get access to this. And this really lands the story. And we had a lot of feedback how we came up with this feature. I will say like some, you know, you might wonder. This was one of the feedback that we got from the customers where they said on Viva Connections, we have a way to navigate back to the home site. We really want to yeah. have an easy way to navigate back from the internet to the Viva Connections experience yes. itself. And this is more like one of the feedback that we got. We got and implemented a feature towards that. And now that this feature is out there, we would really love to hear feedback, um, test it out, share feedback so that we can improve on this experience and let us know um, what we can improve on. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. The, the feedback is always important. Uh, do we already know, uh, do we have any you know, roadmap items on how are we gonna improve this in the future? Or is it now dependent on the feedback from the customers? Good question, Vesa. So right now, this feature is currently rolling out in production and some of the customers will be seeing it uh, as we roll out. We expect to be complete rolled out by end of uh, uh, March. Uh, in yep. terms of future improvements, uh, we're looking at expanding to, to more customers other than those who've not only um, have configured dashboards and published, who else would want to see this? And this is feedback that we'll be looking forward to hear from the, uh, from the customers, as well as how can we bring the dashboard experience even closer to that SharePoint internet experience? So that is something that we are looking at. Uh, no timelines yet, but we'll be looking for feedback to improve on what making improvements to this. Um, like for example, one of the things that we've been brainstorming is, for example, how many news uh, items are in the news. What do I need to catch up? Like have a number uh, over there so that when I click on the news icon or the news tab, it tells me I have 17 items to catch up on. That's something we're looking at. But uh, of course, we'll be looking forward to customer feedback to uh, have a better yes. understanding of what really matters to the customer. Yep. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. That, that there's almost always a lot of ideas, and also yes, what what, what you're saying basically, indicating the net, net new news already in the news listing. That's actually an interesting dimension. But if that's mm -hmm. something what you want to see within that feature as a customer or partner, please add comments on the video, add comments on the blog post. To let us know. Uh, that's how we know how to prioritize these things. But I guess that's a quick intro on the feature. Thank you, Katrin, on joining on the on the show uh, and, and making the video and, and showing everybody how this feature actually works. And hopefully we'll see you here in the future to talk about the next steps uh, and other features as well. So thank you, Katrin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me today. Excellent. Pew! Ha, 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 ha.